Hello and welcome back to the Movies Archives. This is your host, Movies Rex, and we are playing RimWorld. All right, today is moving day. Uh, or tomorrow, when it comes around, is moving day. And we will be leaving this place forever. We will be saying goodbye to Gusto forever. Um, we will be poisoning people forever. Uh, I am going to get... not there. Our pemmican. And I'm going to say, give us more. More pemmican. As much as you can. <laughs> I think everybody will eat simple, simple meals, but the uh, pemmican is going to go a long way. It's going to go a long way to uh, keeping us alive on our trip. Because it doesn't really spoil that easily. Simple meals spoil in like three days or something like that. And I might even try... Yeah, I'm going to take one of our batteries with us. Can I uninstall one of these? No, you can just deconstruct it and get some of the materials back. Let's go ahead and do that. So needles might disassemble that before we go. It might not be worthwhile taking a bed with us. But maybe, do we have any superior beds? Just have normal bed. Poor. Awful. Normal. Couple normal beds. That might be worthwhile. Maybe. But we're getting at least a battery out of this. And some more components. And spring should be here in a couple more hours. Now there are events on the road, so we haven't ever encountered that. And we're bringing everybody with us, so I don't know how easily we'll be able to uh, deal with this. Apparently, I've deprived us of, of sufficient power. Somehow. What? Oh, that was brilliant of me. The solar power was uh, how we got stuff uh, all together. Well, whoever finds this place after after we leave will have a nice, almost fully functional um, base. <laughs> Almost fully functional. These sides are being powered by the windmills. Barely. And it's spring. Alright. Let them sleep. Otherwise they're going to be cranky. As they normally are. Wait till morning. And then once everybody's up, we leave. When he's the first to rise, last meal here. Jockey, needles, kilt, good enough. 6 a.m., getting ready to move. All right, let's uh, form this caravan with everybody, including our pet rat. We're going to take all the kibble, actually cancel this. Uh, zoom in. Just want to make sure that everything's unforbidden. I don't know if I saw... Well, actually, let's forbid these first. Go out to the world. Form the caravan. Take everybody. Oh, we do have the package for five meals. I didn't notice that. Alright, so let's just grab everything and everybody. Take all of our food. And that gives us 7.3 days worth of food, plus some berries, milk, and insect jelly. Good. And we'll take all of our components. We have 25 components. Uh, we'll take the hyperweave, because that's expensive stuff. But everything else we have here, not so much. Uh, herbal medicine. All the other medicines. Uh, we'll take at least 100 steel. 
We'll take the battery. We will... Let's say we'll take 25 wood. Some of the better weapons. Over gold and silver. And we'll leave heading west. I'm going to increase the amount of steel until we're like 225. I guess we really should be taking everything. All right. There we go. And I think that's... Well, anything we leave behind is whatever we leave behind. We're leaving all the skins and stuff that we've made. Take maximum beaver skin. And let's leave a little bit more steel behind. Okay, that should do. And our rat was just attacked by a lynx. We failed to send the caravan because of that. So, Jockey, what I want you to do... Before we leave, uh, don't we have a weapon for you? Yeah. Hey, quick, that submachine gun. And we just lo lost rat one. I'm actually okay with that. That's not a problem. But uh, we're going to need to get uh, get ready. There we go. Everybody ammoed up who can be ammoed up? Yeah. Okay. Now let's form that caravan again. Minus one. All right. And they should be forming the caravan now. Again. All right. I've never moved camp before, so this will be a brand new thing. Caravan is ready. All right. Well, our destination is way out here. And we are going to get to it by using some 1.7 stuff. I wish you had a boat, but apparently not. So we're just going to go straight for this crossroads here uh, before making our way along these asphalt roads up over to this area. Sound good? Sound good. All right. They're stuck in the mountains. <laughs> So, I guess what happened, yeah, they got, they moved up this way through the Boro Forest. I actually wanted them to go this way, which would allow them to go better, but I guess I got their configuration set up wrong. So it's going to take 23 day, 23 hours to get them through this tile here. Which means they may end up being short of this. Maybe they should head... Oops. There instead. And at least get to water. Or maybe first to here. <laughs> Four and a half days, water. Maybe to here, 5.1 days. Gives them mountainous terrain to work with. They just need to get out of this spot. <laughs> it's like they haven't moved at all because we left in the wrong direction. Well, let's just aim for that crossroads because it looks like a crossroads. But crossroads look like they're cool. And we'll go ahead and abandon the archive at Compassion's Tree. It's no longer ours. Oh, and that allows it to move a lot faster. Or we just got a time boost. Somehow. <laughs> and we've got a sad wander to deal with. Apparently it's dealt with. 
Hakuja, chief of Concord of Lear, has sent us a message. Apparently bandits based... Well, let's read this. Apparently bandits based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. They've asked us to destroy it, which means eliminating all enemies and turrets. If we succeed, our relations with Concord of Lear will improve. And we will get a mass work limestone royal bed. That's up there. I, I don't think we're going back that way. Thank you. She asked us last year, maybe. Yeah, we're on friendly terms with him. Uh, we have two hostile tries, and I think I'm heading straight towards one. The Minoko. Yeah. That might have not have been a good idea. Three point four days, one point five days to our destination. Are we going to be attacked? It's always a question. So we might actually see a lot of combat from these guys, these tribals. Ooh. Item stash opportunity. Priscilla. Prime Counselor of League of Herfor in Lea has sent us a message. They've learned that a collection of valuable items have been left for the taking not far from us. The collection consists of pants, pants, jackets, a smoke pop belt, armor vest, muffalo bowl bowler hat, hmm. steel advanced helmet, steel advanced helmet, plasteel simple helmet. Unfortunately, it won't last, as we'll take the items in 14 days if we do not. Valuables tend to attract danger, so beware. Unfortunately, Priscilla has no idea who or what, if anything, might be guarding the stash. That is closer. Well, we can try grabbing it. See if we survive. Okay. Here we go. Stash must be in here. Doesn't appear to be anything in the air. Ooh. Anything in the air right now. Marble door. Let's deconstruct this block here. Actually, no. Let's cancel that and deconstruct this block here. No? Do we just... People eat. Needles I'm gonna get to prioritize deconstructing that block. Just wanna see if there's anything in here. So I'm assuming this is where the stash is. It's the only place looks like there is anything. Can't peek inside, huh? I guess we're deconstructing that block, too. I just think it'll be easier than going through the marble door. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna force you to wear that. Who has bad pants? You don't have pants. I'm just gonna force you to wear, force you to wear this. And jockey, going to force you to wear an armor vest. We got some good stuff here. Basically, jockey, I'm going to armor you up. Kilt. You have a toque, and this is steel advanced helmet. I'm going to get you to wear the helmet instead. I can't just uh, get them to just pick it up. Actually, you can wear that helmet. 
And you can wear that belt. And... You... Kilt, after you're done picking that up. I'm gonna force you to wear the squirrel sun's packed. And we're gonna give that to the pack animal. And go and force Jockey to wear the armor vest. Because armor, good. So you've got, some, got an awful toque, a clap. A, uh, jacket, and so we're just going to give the cloth jacket to the pack animal. And once we're done that, can we just go? Reform the caravan. Do I need to toss anything? No. Yeah, and this stuff was just not good enough to take with us. And... We don't have enough days to get there. We might just settle where we are. Yeah, I'm thinking go here and settle. Now I'm going here because there is some... Uh, terrain is some uh, mountainous stuff in the area. And settle. Low food is right. We've got a big building here that kind of terrifies me. Let's see what we've got. Got a small building here that doesn't terrify me as much. Which we might be able to take shelter in. A couple dromedaries we might want to tame or hunt for food. Let's see. This might be the end of this. There's no food here. <laughs> There's a road that a road that goes through it, but no food. Okay, so there is some agave, which we'll, we'll have to use for food until we get our situation set up. I'm going to order that ostrich for hunting. I am going to say, well, this kind of scares me, but... Um, Let's see. What if I build our base right next to that? Um, we'll claim this for the night. Um, what I'm going to do is actually... We're going to build... Oh, we don't... How much wood did we bring? We have 19 wood. 31 wood. Yeah, we can do this. Gonna build that and then get a door here, a wall here. And this is going to be our stockpile zone. And we'll build a roof here. And that just allows us to uh, attach to there. Everybody's eating what they can. There's no one set to hunting. Kilt, you're a hunter. It's hot. And we're going to claim this area. How do you claim? Claim, claim, claim. Claim.
A new area has been revealed. Where? Why'd you take me out here? I guess everybody is incredibly deprived of joy. Unfortunately, Needles, I'm going to need you to work on that. I'm going to set up a couple blueprints. Uh, furniture, sleeping spots. I need one more. Five inside that building. And then people can actually sleep and we can get the food hauled someplace safe. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I thought this would be dangerous. Yeah, that has all of our stuff. And we have some kibble left. No pemmican, though. No, only milk. All this stuff can be put in people's inventories. That's good for the day. Uh, we have a couple of dromedaries. Male and female. Might not want to kill just yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ancient danger. Well, that'll do for structure for now. I'm looking for stuff we could turn it into meat. Then we could set up a campfire. Go ahead and chop that for wood. And Jockey's having a major break -wist. Not unsurprising. Oh, his bond with Gusto. The sadness due to his bond with Gusto. This expires in eight days or five days. As everybody gets the setup, I want to make sure that we have enough chop wood orders and we need to get our planting set up ASAP. So our zones, growing zone. So this is 100% fertility. So it's a very limited growing area. Um, nothing looks like rich soil anywhere that we can take advantage of. This is a nice area. All right, I'm just going to get some stuff set up. On pause, and then we'll be back next time. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave us a like, leave some comments and suggestions. We'll see if we survive. Have a good day, and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.